everyone, Dead Owl Nerve Guy here. Today we're running a quick power test on this Holy Key Strife. Just to see uh, what it's gonna give us in the end. I'm gonna try with the original included dart. What I wanna see is power augmentation, what we have like increase in power and uh, what it can hold. Maybe I'm gonna burn the blaster. I don't know. I'm gonna try to check if it smells too much. Not to shoot it with uh, too high voltage. But no, we're gonna try the included dart. I'm gonna compare an original readout of the chronograph on semi and full auto. And then we're gonna have fun with it. I know it's going around 75 FPS full auto and it can go up to 80 FPS 80 something semi auto but it's rather slow so I want to have an increase in the rate of, of fire and an increase in FPS uh, the rate of fire is pretty slow I'm gonna do it even without the magazine Now rev it. About two, 2.5 rounds a second, which is not amazing uh, for this kind of blaster. I was expecting a little more. But given the fact that this blaster run only on a 3.7 volt, uh, it's kind of okay. But we're gonna see if there's any potential. I am scared of only one thing. Is having like small 3 volt motors inside this thing that I'm gonna top off with very very low voltage. And that's what I'm scared of here. Because the rev doesn't go that much down with uh, full auto. And there's a third motor in it. So I'm gonna show you my little Frankenstein rig, which I use to test voltage, my chrono. This is my little Frankenstein rig. I use that to test voltage on multiple blasters. Uh, for this one, since I don't have this connector, I had to make myself a small custom connectors. Yeah, it's not beautiful, but it's doing the work, it's isolated, and I got my two wires, and I can connect them. Let's not make any mistake. Plug it black on black, red on red. That's perfect. My first positive is there. This is a breeze when you do voltage test. Those rival slash dart zone uh, battery tree. You can just lift up the pin at the rear, put terminals in them, and you can run 1.5, 3 volt. I'm gonna even show you with 1.5 volt. Only one D cell in it. And you're gonna see it's gonna be very slow and very sluggish. Let's put it on semi auto. And it's not even revving. Good. So we have our answer. It's not running on 1.5. Is it running on 3 volt only? And it doesn't have enough power to uh, rev up the pusher at 3 volt. Hmm, interesting. Let's put that thing on. 4.5 volts just to see what kind of increase we have 4.5 oh this is sounding more aggressive it's raving a little quicker and for the pusher hmm, a little more snappy I'm gonna try that with 4.5 volts on semi auto. Oops. Uh, 
I'm not saying it like that. We got about the same reading. I think the motors are top off or I... They're not smelling. So 4.5 might be okay. What about full auto? I'm getting the same kind of low reading, 74, 70, hmm, I think the motors are topped off at this FPS, and I think I'm slowly burning them, we're gonna know with 6 volt, this blaster is gonna need uh, a motor swap, I'm guaranteed about it, 6 volt is going to do something to this blaster. 6 volt. 6 volt. Let me put a few more darts in there. Those wheels are violent on the head of those darts. They are really scraping them, but the head look like holding. But they got flywheel marks everywhere. I think the crush of the cage and the low rev capacity of the motor limit this blaster. But with a, a cage swap, a motor swap, nah, might be okay. Okay, so now, 6 volts. Okay, it's stopped off. And it's starting to smell. Hmm, not good. Okay. Whew! Those smell. Those smell like ozone badly. And it's still 80 FPS. Those motor are maxed out. If I put... Oh! There is something getting too much voltage in this cage can you can you hear that on semi auto and full auto there must be a capacitor or a board in there that doesn't like it i don't know if i would try it okay what the heck it's just a blaster That's better. I mean, for rate of fire, that's way better. Let me turn that off. But the motor really, really hates it. Hmm. Am I? Because I had an 86.5 on full auto and it was pretty quick. 246 rounds a minute makes... Yeah, about four rounds a second. We had a good increase. <sighs> Will I dare? Okay. Because those motors, they don't smell like burnt yet, but they don't smell like they're liking it either. So let's go with 7.5 volts. I don't think I'm going to go for the full... I don't think I'm going to go for the full 9 volt on this thing. Because I'm really scared I'm going to just burn it. And it's done. It's not working. I can't rev it. Let me try if it's just... One, do, one too much battery, or if I just burnt it. Okay, conclusion on this quick test. 4.5 volt almost top it, but 6 volt give you a way better rate of fire, but it's too much voltage for the front motor, obviously. 
Uh, it will definitely need a cage swap, motor swap. Maybe not a cage swap. I don't know the, I don't know the, the exact quality of this cage, but it looks very, very close to a nerve strife cage with slightly more crush on it. So the, the, the cage might not be that bad, but the motor are topped off right away. I mean, 90-ish FPS is like the maximum. They, they really rev like quickly. Uh, they top off in the revolution in a second with 6 volt. But the problem is we don't, we're don't we not getting any FPS. We have an increase in the rate of fire. We have almost double the rate of fire because we almost double the voltage. But see, I'm going to have to open it to check the detail. But seems like the pusher was following and was emptying the magazine pretty easily. Hmm. The board. There's a board for the select fire. Uh, Seems like there might be a limit somewhere. Uh, I will have to open it, but the bar seems like holding 6 volt. But there's a power limit switch somewhere that 7.5 was too much to even activate the blaster to prevent something from burning. So I'm gonna have to investigate the board, but generally 4.5 volt, 4.8 volt, probably battery would be very good at it to improve it but it will need a motor swap i will need to investigate those motors those are too weak i mean six volt they scream for their life uh, not supposed to be uh, we're not used to motor like that they are just too weak uh yeah that's about it so potential is still there but eh, some weak part inside uh the Pusher seems like it can handle a lot more voltage than the front than the flywheel cage motor, but we are limited by some kind of switch inside. And I wouldn't put more than 4.8 volt in this holy key stock without upgrading anything. Because I would be too afraid of burning it. That's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Uh, we have a few more good stuff coming. Everything is in the mail, I'm sorry. And I've been delayed by uh, the <laughs> receiving of my package for my prophecy, which had some problem. I'm going to keep you in touch. Uh, that was Dave Fatag. See you next time. Bye.